What's up my friends, today's project will be a 3.3 voltage regulator with the AMS1117. I'll use this module to power up my NRF24 radio receiver. Since Arduino's 3.3 volts output current is limited and the NRF model needs a lot more, I will use this voltage regulator and it will work great. Let's see what we need. First, a 3x2cm drilled PCB, some male pins, the AMS1117 voltage regulator, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, a 100 microfarad capacitor, some solid wires for the connections, solder and of course a soldering iron. Ok, now let's get started. First, what you need to do is download the circuit schematics. The link is down below in the descriptions. This is our schematic. We can see that we have ground, input and output. These are the pins of the AMS1117. 1 is ground, 2 is the output and 3 is the input. This is how our circuit will look on the PCB. Let's see how my components look like. This is the AMS1117 voltage regulators. You can buy one for about 50 cents or in this case I found one on this old damaged video card. Here it is my friends, AMS1117. Let's get it off. We put a little bit of solder to have a nice heat transfer. We first take off the top part like this. Then easily and at the same time we take off the three pins. There you go. Now we start placing the components one by one. We first make a little dot on one hole just like this. We place the voltage regulator and carefully solder the three pins. Now we add the 0.1 microfarad capacitor between pin 2 and 3. We cut off the excess wires. Now the 100 microfarad between pin 1 and 2. Make sure that the white line that indicates the negative part goes to the ground which is pin 1. We cut two pairs of male pins. One pair for the input and one for the output. We solder them to the PCB. Now we make the final connection with some solid wire. Our voltage regulator is complete. We mark the input and output pins and the positive and negative as well. Now that our voltage regulator is complete, we have to test it. We connect it to the 5V output of the Arduino. And indeed, we have a 3.3V output. Yes. Yeah. 